I'm a rock star in my leather pants, and I am going to show you exactly what I take to work for lunch every day to lose weight. This is gonna be the easiest no cook meal prep that you will ever do, and it is extremely tasty. Let's do it. All right. Whoa. <laughs> Mine and Sassy's lunch. Oh, thanks. I have a really cute lunch pail. Sassy doesn't think it's cool to have lunch pails, so he gets a bag. <laughs> Next, I always prep our water. So we each have a jug. Sassy is getting the pink one. <laughs> I'm totally cool with that. Um, so this is our most of our day's worth of water. This way, we have no excuse not to drink our water already set and ready to go. Nice jugs. <laughs> We like to take a diet pop for a treat. So Sassy got to choose the pop today. It is Diet Coke Extra Toasted Vanilla. It has extra caffeine, so if you if you want more anxiety throughout the day, <laughs> that's a good way to get it. This stuff is so good. The toasted vanilla, if you guys haven't had it, check it out. So we're putting that in the bag. And you get raging anxiety from it. <laughs> I don't know about that. Maybe Sass does. We also, for a snack. It's worth it. It is, it's definitely worth it. For a snack, we bring a protein bar. We have a protein bar. I brought four choices because I thought that you might want to choose. What who, do you think, Sassy? Who, me or the you, friends? You, what do you want? There's maple caramel, strawberry, chocolate coconut, and red velvet. It's actually caramel, oh wait, is that French? Oh, that's French. Maple caramel. Oh, uh, you're right, maple caramel, strawberry, Dark chocolate, coconut, or let's go red velvet. Okay, uh, the friends, comment down below which one of those would you have chosen. Okay, got our snack in there, and then... I'm feeling smooth, so I went with velvet. <laughs> smooth, like velvet. Like, like fake leather pants. You love, you're so jealous, you want these. Yeah. Shit, you like your mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have rap style, and Sassy's gonna have low carb style because he likes to eat all his carbs in the morning. I like to split mine. I eat some in the morning and some at lunch. So I'm gonna pack a low carb wrap for myself. This is the Joseph's Lavash. These wraps are my favorite. They're game changers, so do whatever you can to find them. We have to get them online because we're in Canada, but if you can get them in store, wherever you can get them, get them. They're totally worth it. And if you can't find them, like any low carb wrap will do, but like this one is low calorie. It's like 124, 120 calories or something for the whole thing. Look at the size of it. It's huge and it really fills me up. That's so, what she said. <laughs> so I'm just gonna roll this up and wrap it in plastic wrap. And that is gonna be my wrap base. And we're so excited. We're eating the tastiest stuff for lunch this week. So first I'm gonna do these containers to put our lettuce and our cucumbers in. And I'll show you the meat in a second. No bait, no bake, no cook, super easy. We like to have a mix of greens. We buy the bag stuff because it's already washed and clean, cut, everything. You don't have to do anything. Just buy it and whip it in your container. So these pink containers I got from Walmart and I really like that they are so easy because they have two container, two compartments. So you can just put almost everything in there. So we put a bunch of spinach and then I'm gonna put a bunch of romaine. This is um, heart, chopped up hearts of romaine, and I'm just gonna fill this as full as I can. And normally, if we had to cook and prep, like a longer meal prep, we'd make a bunch, but because this is so fast, we thought we'd show you guys, we whipped this up the day before, yep. put it in the fridge. Yep, um, it's so easy, you literally don't have to make it in advance. You can, but it's very quick. So I put the lettuce in the one compartment, and then I put the cucumbers, Actually, I put the meat here and then I put the cucumbers in these. So I'm gonna, 
Uh, I don't recommend doing this. Don't chop like this at home. <laughs> I get afraid every time Nicole does this. Please use a cutting board. Do not copy this. If you're Italian, you probably do this because this is how I learned how to chop from my Nona. This is what you do. Every day, he's like, why do you cut like that? Because I can. <laughs> so I put about seven or eight slices of cucumber in the container. Definitely don't have that Diet Coke and watch Nicole chop things because you'll get like double anxiety. Wee. Guys, I've been doing this my entire life. See, look. I got my hand still. <laughs> my papa used to like one-handed hand carve the skin off an apple and it would scare the out of me even back then. Really? He yeah. used to do that? Yeah, one hand. Imagine grabbing an apple and a knife and like on wing, 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 wing. <laughs> That's pretty talented. My Nona did, she took the paring knife and the fruit and she could carve one whole skin off like without making breaks. Wow. But she did it with two hands. So we got the cucumbers. We have the lettuce. Now we're gonna do the meat and we're having a mix of turkey and chicken. No other reason than they were out of all turkey and all chicken. So we just bought one turkey, one chicken. A lot of people look kind of down on lunch meat because it's processed and it has a lot of sodium. It also is really low calorie, it's tasty, and it has good protein in it. It's super easy because you don't have to cook it. It's delicious. It We've, makes me want to eat my lunch me and, every day. Me and Nicole have been extra busy this week and this is the times that we'll grab lunch meat and make a meal prep like this because we don't have any time. Often we'll cook chicken burgers, but this week we were making a lot of like really cool videos that took a little longer. So we're like, no, you know what? No cooking, grab the lunch meat. When you're running low on time, this makes me look forward to lunch. It's very quick. And you so, guys get to see Nicole's de-sliming process of the meat. So this is what I like to do because Sass is always like, I'm not picky. I'm not going to de-slime the meat. Well, I de-slime the lunch meat. So this is an extra step that I personally <laughs> wouldn't do. No. But, but I, I, I'm not a bachelor anymore, so... I, Nicole's kind enough to make both lunches, so I'm just gonna let her roll with it. So this is what I like to do if you don't like wet slimy meat. <laughs> <laughs> that's the ultimate, that's what she said. <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't realize what I was saying. Okay, anyway, if you don't like wet slimy meat, that's what she said. I put it on a paper towel and I lay it out and then I just dab it a bit and it gets rid of the moisture and then you don't have slimy meat. That's what she said. Okay, get it out. Remember when <laughs> dabbing was cool like four years ago? What, how do you? Yeah, you did it. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Back to the meat. Is that yeah, how you do it? You got it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm doing two turkey and one chicken. Um, because we have more turkey than we have chicken. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna roll one chicken up for each of us. And we eat the same amount of everything, except again, I eat the wrap and Kyle doesn't because he eats most of his carbs in the morning. And then I'm just gonna roll the turkey guys up, two for each of us. So we have three slices. And Kyle will make his sort of into a salad tomorrow, and I'll put all of my stuff in the wrap. Yeah, and what I did, like, like what I do with this, I'll just quickly tear up the meat, throw it in, put the dressing, and you'll see the other stuff that we're throwing in here. So once I'm done that, this is finished. So I'm gonna put the lid on this, and now we've got the, I've already put the wrap in my lunch pail. I've got the lettuce, the meat, the cucumber, and I had a major craving for black olives this week, and so we decided to put a few into a little bit of dressing as a little treat to go on our salad and on our wrap. Okay, this is just a can of sliced black olives that I put in a container to keep in the fridge all week. And olives do have some fat, so we're not gonna have a ton because we prefer to eat low fat. But I'm just gonna put, you know, about a teaspoon worth in um, each container. And then because I like to save lunch pail space, I'm gonna put the dressing in here as well. And the dressing isn't gonna be like a full amount to dress a salad, it's just gonna be enough to flavor it because we like keeping the calories low for our diet. That's how we've been losing weight. For our weight. perfect bodies. Yeah, yeah, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is the dressing that we're gonna use. 
I have been craving this and the black olives. So this is the Calorie Wise Craft Greek Feta and Oregano Dressing. And a tablespoon is only 30 calories and two and a half grams of fat. But I'm gonna shake this up and put two teaspoons in each container. It's off the charts good, this dress. It is so good and honestly, like, it's so much flavor. All you need is two teaspoons. If you have like a Greek salad craving, this is a great low calorie option. Yeah, it is so delicious. Uh, like, I've had this wrap already a couple of days and oh my gosh, like every lunch, I finish it and I'm like, I can't believe how good this is. And it's really low calorie. It's really cool. So there it's done. And I'll just show you. Yeah, what's all in the lunch pail? Okay, well, <laughs> a hair tie in case I need to put my hair up, chapstick, backup contacts in case my contacts go dry or rip, you know. And then I'll put the this container on the bottom with the lettuce and the meat, then cucumber, dressing, then I'll put the pot, my wrap, smooth as velvet bar, lunch, done. With the water in the fridge, oh, how could I forget the napkins? Okay, I put a few for me because it does get messy. There, and now, Sass is boring lunch pail over here. <laughs> and he doesn't carry anything cool like extra contacts or chapstick because he's boring. So, it's sad. But so we've got his pop, all his lunch, his bar, and that is it. And I may add, sometimes I add a spoon to scoop out all the dressing and the olives, which I'll probably do that. And that is it. Got sass and his pink uh, jug of water. And that is it. Guys, literally five minutes. Pack the lunches. I made two lunches here. Whoa. So it is tasty. It's low calorie. It's easy. Kyle and I really don't have a ton of time. We know between. we're staying on track and we didn't really do a long prep. No, and it, we pack things. Often people will say about the processed things that we use, like the meat or um, the diet pop or the protein bars. We are looking for things to help us stay on track. We've lost 130 pounds each and we've kept it off for over five years by picking our battles, choosing things like that that are tasty, keep us on track, and that are easy to prep or easy to grab, like something like this, when we're hungry. And that is it. If you wanna know more, if you want our two weight loss guides, we got the links down below, exactly what we ate to lose our first and next 50 pounds. Watch these two videos, do this, wear fake leather pants, shake your bottom, and wear these cool slippers Whoa. that look like heck. Different ones today. Yes. This is a pay tribute to my dog, Hank. Yep. <laughs> Went to doggy heaven, so now we wear the slippers. I would pull, pull my hamstrings and my groin and my hip flexors if I put my leg up on the table like that. See this? Hank appreciates it. And only cool people do this. Thanks for watching. Love you. Peace out. Enjoy your lunch. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.